Hey guys, welcome back to our little handmade home. Today I'm going to be showing you how to save money when filling up your tiered trays by making your own mini pillows. Let's get started. All right, let's get to today's project. So for our little tiered tray pillows, we are going to be using these cute little charm packs. You can pick these up in a lot of different places. I think I ordered mine online, but I will definitely leave some links down below for some cute little packs on Amazon. So to start with, we're just gonna take a look at what different fabrics we have to use in this one. Usually with charm packs, you get something like six or eight of the same print. Okay, so these are our colors. So for me, I like to have sort of a print on the front. So I would call these ones kind of the prints. And this one probably, I would say those are the prints. And then these are the ones that I would generally choose to use on the back. So I think for this one, let's go with this red or this, this, um, this one here and this one. Okay, so you're going to take one piece of the front and one piece of your back. And don't forget for this project, we're going to be putting wrong sides together. What I love about the charm packs is, of course, the way they're trimmed. So they're pinked on all the edges, which means that they'll give a nice um, frayed finish when you wash them. But you can sew them right sides out and have that sort of rough edge. So all we're gonna do is I like to start on the bottom corner and I just line mine up right about there. So I line it up just with the, with the edge of my presser foot. your starting threads off. And then at this point, you have your little pillow. So for stuffing your pillow, you have a couple of options. You could use loose batting and you can just stuff it in there. Or um, I had these little squares that I'd actually cut out for a small quilt and cut too many. So as you can see, they're almost just the right size. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit off the edge and pop it in here. And of course you can choose how full you want these. They really just have to be full enough to stand up. So if you like it like that, or you can add a little more if you want to. I think I'm gonna do a little bit thicker. Now you can use anything to fill these with. Press it down so that it's not going to catch in your seam. And run your stitch along here. Fluff your pillow up a little bit. Make sure you've trimmed off all of your extra threads. And then if you want to give it a little extra fluff, just toss it in the wash. And that's all you need to do for a tiered tray pillow. Another way that you can make these is if you have layer cakes, which of course are the 10 inch squares. You can do them very similarly. Fold a piece in half. could use your pinking shears to cut it down the middle. You could cut it solid, however you choose to do it. Or you can go a more traditional route, which would be folding them inside 
and stitching so that you have finished edges. You can do them either way. Do keep in mind that when you are sewing your little mini pillows so that the right sides are, are together and your stitching is going to be on the inside, you're gonna want to clip your corners in order to make it turn out properly. Um, use a bone folder or you know the, the plastic tool or even the edge of your scissors to really push the corners out into place and give your pillow a really nice square finish. For this pillow, I'm using some loose stuffing instead of the quilt batting that I used on the previous ones. And then once you have your pillow stuffed to how you like it, just go ahead and either finish it with a hand stitch or you could use your machine and use a contrasting thread. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm glad to have you along with me. As always, if I have links to products that I use today, they're gonna to be right down below in the description. And while you're flipping through there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and be sure that you don't miss my next video coming out next week.